This is a video demonstrating how I use the flipper to flash my Dr. Bork multi-boards ESP32 with Marauder firmware. It should also work for any other ESP32 based boards and firmwares as far as I'm aware, but I make no promises. I'm going to assume that you have already downloaded the ESP32 Easy Flasher application and set up Python on your system so that you can run it and be at the main menu as pictured on the left. Now, on your flipper, go to the GPIO menu and select USB UART Bridge. This will then show up on your computer as a COM port. Now, to put the ESP into bootloader mode, press and hold the boot button. This can be tricky on some boards, especially ones with the switches like mine. Click the EN button while still holding the boot button. Now you should be in bootloader mode. Now you can select a firmware to flash. Two-way communication is a good sign, as seen there and then we should hopefully see it start to erase the flash. And there we go. It has successfully started communicating and is erasing the flash. The data total displays on the flipper are very useful for seeing if it's working. For Marauder, it will transfer a little bit over 500 kilobytes. Now, the flash has completed successfully, but it is still in the bootloader. So, to get it out of the bootloader, I'll exit the USB serial application. And unplug the board. Give it a few seconds here. And then I plug the board back in. And I don't know if it takes some time to boot up or what, but if I have gone too quickly, it often does not immediately respond. I'm going to go ahead and try, though. Apps, GPIO, ESP32. Wi-Fi Marauder, and let's just scan. And this is what happens when it's not ready yet for some reason. Sometimes the plug and unplug cycle seems to do the trick.
There we go. Nope. Much better. Okay. I don't know why it sometimes does that. It actually never did that before I started trying to film it today, but it's done that every time I've tried to record this. So that's how to flash it. If it's not fully working after you've successfully flashed it, try unplugging and replugging it, loading and unloading the application. Maybe somebody else can offer an idea as to why that did that, but there you go.